Hi, this is Teresa Momber, and here's a look at the card I'll show you how to create in today's video. And in this video, we'll be using images from my Framescapes Tropical Skies stamp set from Gina K Designs and doing a little different technique than my usual sponging. A real quick, easy to do swiping technique using your jumbo sponge daubers to make a scene card that comes together really quickly. And today I'm not going to speed up the video. I'm just going to let it play out at normal speed so you can see just how fast this card can come together. Start with a piece of white cardstock trimmed to four by five and a quarter inches and then swipe using your jumbo sponge dauber and Gina K sweet corn ink from side to side. Try to keep your um, sponge dauber off the cardstock as you start your swipe and then just bring it across back and forth and you'll find that the colors a little darker on the edges and lighter toward the center. As you're swiping you want to use a very light touch you don't want to be pressing down hard at all. Switch to Sweet Mango ink and once again swipe back and forth this time working below and above the yellow. Now let's switch to Gina K Bubblegum Pink ink and again we'll do that swiping technique working from side to side. Start with uh, filling in the area above the orange at the top and then after you've done that work in the area below the bottom orange. Filling that area in all the way across the cardstock. Now we'll use Gina K Wild Lilac ink and do some more swiping. It's a good idea to go ahead and tap off uh, some of that excess ink now and then just to kind of get a feel for things. Keep swiping, work at the top and at the bottom of the cardstock until you're happy with how much color you've put on. And as the ink builds up, you'll see you'll get little lines that are going to look a bit like wispy clouds at the top and ripples in the water along the bottom. Use some sticky notes to mask off where you'd like the horizon line to be. And then use the swiping technique and Gina K Bubblegum Pink ink to swipe along that mask line. Stamp the sun image from the Framescapes Tropical Skies stamp set using Gina K Sweet Corn ink. And you'll want to line the bottom of that sun up with the horizon line that you created. Stamp the frame image from the Framescapes Tropical Skies stamp set using Versafine Black ink. And you can use your Misty stamp positioner if you have one or freehand stamp.
And just a little tip, sometimes I like to, when I lift my stamp, leave the cardstock stuck to it and then just rub my fingers along very carefully uh, where I know that the image is stuck to the cardstock to help get a more clear impression. Now stamp the small island image using Gina K Lovely Lavender Ink. And I'm stamping it a couple of times uh, just to make it look like there are a few islands in the background. And that one on the right side, I stamped that a little lower than I would have liked. I wish I'd made that a little higher to make it look a little more distant. Next, stamp the larger of the dolphin images using Gina K Black Onyx Ink. Place a sticky note lower on the cardstock and then stamp the smaller dolphin image so that you get just a partial impression. We want him to look like he's floating in the water. Use Copic marker BV00 to add in some shadows for the dolphins and for the islands. Stamp the sentiment, also from the Framescapes Tropical Skies stamp set using Gina K Black Onyx ink. Assemble your card by adhering your image layer to a piece of black cardstock that's trimmed slightly larger, and then adhere both layers to a 5.5 by 4.25 inch card base. In this case, I'm using a Wild Orchid card base, but I believe this may be a retired color from Gina K Designs. So uh, my apologies if you don't have this color. Hopefully you'll be able to find something that will look just as good, like maybe uh, Lovely Lavender or Wild Lilac. And that completes today's video. Thanks for watching.